welcome back to the channel this one we are reading for the sign of aquarius all that you need to know from now on the 24th of july 2023 so what's coming in terms of your relationship finances overall life so yes many of you guys are moving towards a relationship okay i feel after holding yourself back for the longest time you guys are finally giving into a relationship in terms of your major challenge i think you're letting go of that victim mentality you're letting go of a relationship that was not serving you and moving uh, towards something is much more fulfilling if it's not a romantic relationship this could be a new job opportunity for some of you but you're definitely going to meet someone who's going to seem like a soulmate to you okay in the past we have high priestess so for most of you there was nothing happening in the past there was complete silence some of you guys could be holding on uh, to a person to reach out best case scenario we have the devil card some of you guys still find yourself attached to someone. Okay. Clarifying the nine of wands for the. Yeah. When it comes to your challenge with six of pentacles, I believe some of you guys are still attached to someone who you are trying to get away from, who you are trying to get rid of, who you are trying to move on from. And it comes to your best case scenario being the devil card. Why is the devil card here? We have the queen of wands so you still have a lot of attraction for someone who, uh, who is blocking you from moving on with your life in terms of the past with the high priestess the ace of wands in the reverse i don't think you wanted to start something new in your life moreover the past person was also not giving in to you so that was also blocking you further okay in terms of going into the near future what do we have with page of wands i think i'm definitely moving towards a new relationship new uh, job or a new situation altogether you're definitely taking your chances clarifying the page of wands further yeah, with seven of wands i think you're finally deciding of moving forward in your life okay in terms of uh, how do you see yourself right now with five of swords i believe a part of you still is very scared of moving on of moving ahead of losing an opportunity you guys are still thinking negatively sometimes but yeah that is bothering you a part of you is also very upset with with where your past person would have left you you still have uh, feelings for them you still desire them okay a part of you hasn't moved on okay a part of you believes that that was your soulmate in terms of how do you see yourself moving forward with the full card but you still want to take that chance now you still want to let go of everything that is bothering you and move on regardless of how strongly you feel for them in terms of what's coming towards you it definitely means with ten of swords that the hopeless times of the past are coming to an end a relationship that was not serving is something that the universe is bringing to an end the judgment card you're making that decision of ending it by yourself okay you have made that decision literally let go of what's blocking you from moving forward clarifying it further yeah with five of pentacles you're choosing to let this person go you're choosing to ghost them and you're choosing to let the connection stay where it is okay you do not want closure you're just letting it go in terms of in your emotions what's happening with the ace of swords in the reverse you are completely forcing yourself to get rid or to get away from something okay it's definitely blocking you it's definitely hurting you it still uh, sometimes uh, freaks you out as to how this person could have done this to you but moreover you're forcing yourself to move on you like do not want to go through that uh, awakening or you do not want to go back to that person so yes that's what's going on besides that with queen of swords you're very negative towards that person that cycle that relationship you hate them some of you guys could also be cursing them some of you guys are literally wishing bad on them okay so yes in terms of that outcome what do we see for aquarius moving forward with the eight of pentacles in the reverse i believe most of you guys are just letting things be where they are and moving on with your life towards something new in your life so the past cycle remains okay in terms of final outcome the world card you are choosing to end that cycle to move towards a new cycle in your life now coming back to your person the one on your mind what's their energy towards you 
With Ace of Cups, I still believe for most of you, there is a new person coming in. This can confuse you a bit, but I also feel the past person may want to make that re-entry in your life. So you are going to have attention from a new person and a past person. Okay, with Eight of Swords in the reverse, someone who kept themselves stuck in some sort of connection or some sort of situation is definitely returning to your life. But you're going to have options. But mostly you're moving towards a, a new relationship. Love is definitely entering your life. I don't see you single for long. But I think mostly you guys are not wanting the past person back. But yeah, let's see in terms of what is this person bringing in. With four of wands, you're moving towards marriage, you're moving towards relationship, you're moving towards engagements, you're moving towards celebrations. Moreover, you're moving towards getting together. Okay. This person definitely bringing in that stability that you guys were looking forward to. Verifying the four of wands further. Every six of swords, this person will take you away from all the pain uh, and uh, emotions that you are holding on to. Okay. This person will definitely help you heal. It's mostly the new person. Okay, speaking about the past person, what's up with them? What are they bringing up? Even the past person will show up for most of you in the month of July. They will present an offer. They are going to possibly apologize for whatever shit that they have done. But Five of Cups, they are definitely very guilty for what they could have said and done to you. Okay, moving on. Like what are this person's intentions? First, we'll start with a new person for Aquarius. New person definitely wants to get to know you better with temperance card in the reverse. They'll see to it how, as to how you feel, like what sort of a relationship you people share. And based on that, they'll decide. They will not be that easy. Okay. In terms of... Yeah, with the chariot card, this could be based on attraction for some of you you will definitely find someone while traveling or even at job place even uh, through a common friend but yes this person will definitely approach you in terms of that what do they want with you now two of sword the new person will take time it is not going to be easy it's not going to be like an easy jump smooth connection obviously they'll they'll want to know you completely before deciding But moreover, this person might look for a casual relationship, okay, which might seem like a red flag for some of you initially, not I'm saying throughout, but like initially they will want a casual relationship. When it comes to your past person, this person is wanting a proper connect. With Page of Swords, they are definitely stalking you. You're completely being stalked, some of you, on a daily basis. In terms of what do they want now? They want to get back. They want to fix the relationship. They want to be on good terms with you. In terms of what are they willing to offer? Queen of Pentacles. A committed relationship. This looks real crazy. When you've decided of moving on, that's when they approach. Crazy, isn't it? But yes, in terms of the major obstacles. Major obstacle is Ten of Pentacles. I think you only want to be a part of committed relationship. Uh, you are not willing to be a part of any casual so that could be an issue moving on seven of pentacles you have trust issues you have major major trust issues so you will take your own sweet time and with three of swords in the reverse you haven't completely healed from your past chapter okay speaking about your person's feelings towards you King of Swords in the reverse. This person is very sneaky. This person is very manipulative. Uh, with the Hermit in the reverse, for now, they just want to open up to you, see where things are going. But yes, they, they can possibly try to, uh, I would say, trigger you into opening up. With Three of Cups, if it's a new person, they want friendship initially, which moves towards relationship. But initially, they'll just want to know you. They might trigger you into giving reactions. If it's a past person, they are current feelings towards you. The Emperor card. This person has known you for a while. So it, it could have been uh, four months. Some of you, it could have been four years. Some of you, it could have been two years. With Knight of Pentacles, I mean, what they have with you is stable, right? So they want it back. They want exactly what they had with you in the past. With Three of Wands. I think this person has real uh, big expectations from you, but they also know that some of you might not even bother 
uh, talking to them or interacting with them. Okay. That being said, where are we moving for Aquarius? With King of Wands, I definitely see you having attention. I definitely see you, uh, you having a person in your life. In terms of Four of Pentacles in the reverse, I think you guys are taking that chance of taking that leap of faith in a new direction. That is mostly with a new person, not so much with the past person. But Four of Cups, you're finally coming out of depression. Okay, moving on. In terms of major realization, with Nine of Cups, you've realized that in order to make you, I mean, yourself happy, you'll have to take risk in your life. You'll have to take those chances. And that's what you're going for. In terms of message you need to hear right now, message you need to hear right now is with Four of Swords, you are ready for your new chapter. You've got to take that chance now. Okay, in terms of advice, in terms of advice, we have Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. I feel mainly you guys need to think things through before deciding on that big uh, change or that big step forward. You should also consider all the positives and negatives before you move in, in that direction. Do not simply jump because you want to escape a situation. Okay, you got to think things through, plan and execute. Also, there might be big changes coming in which might make you feel like your life is turned upside down, but don't panic. Some are just warned against repetitive patterns which are coming again. You got to just stay away from it. Aquarius who are dealing with air signs. So, mention in the reverse. This person is very sneaky, but I believe they've been a player in the past and you do not need to take them back. You do not deserve to take them back. With the lover's card, this person will still keep you in that loophole. Uh, for those who are dealing with water sign, Aquarius dealing with water sign, we have Page of Cups. That speaks about this person being in love with you. With the Moon card, they have a hard time opening up, but yes, they still want to be a part of you. Aquarius dealing with Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to choose you now. Finally, if they've been juggling with you and someone else, they want to choose you. And with Seven of Cups, yes, they have decided on you and they will come forward. They will present themselves. Those who are dealing with Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius dealing with Earth. Seven of Swords, very sneaky. Someone who cheated on you, someone who really hurt you in the past. And Death card, they want to change themselves for sure. And with the Strength card, they've been trying. Okay. Overall advice for Aquarius, Eight of Wands and the Hangman. Once you've decided on a plan, you've got to execute it completely. You've got to execute it moving forward. You can't be looking back because what's in the future is bringing in a lot of success. What's gone is already gone. Don't hold on to it. Do not hold on to past baggage. Moving on to messages. Choose a new direction. Moving on. I think that's for you. Uh, we'll start and get stagnant again. For This is for those who are dealing with a past person. It may start, but it may, it may also get stagnant again. Fed up with this drama, upset. Most of you guys are fed up with this drama and you surely are upset. And your past person could not choose you because they were either committed elsewhere or they had family issues. Final message for you. Love versus like, friend versus lover. Some of them could have friends on you because they were not ready for you. So that is all I have for the sign of Aquarius. I see a new relationship coming in your life. It will go slow. Do not expect fast movement. It's going to go slow. It's going to start from a friendship and then move towards a relationship. So give it the time that it requires. I've read for both past and new. I'm sorry if it got a little confusing. But yeah, that's about it. For all those who it has resonated, please do consider hitting that like button. Your like goes a long way. I know I did not do Aquarius enough, but I'm trying now. I'm at least posting two a month. And uh, yeah, I'm also doing air sign uh, readings on a regular basis. So do not forget checking out your sign. Okay. And all those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That also means a lot to us.